I'll do D, A, C, and G. Yeah, I think that works. I think that works. Oh, you got it. Oh, oh. Hi everyone, I'm Jordan Prince and this is The Moment. In this series, I'm going to spotlight moments in music history that leave a lasting impression with the listener and try to figure out how they did it. And today, I want to talk about this song. You know, I don't even like, I'm not even trying, I don't want this game anymore. I don't want this game anymore. This song. She's up all night to the sun. I'm up all night to get sun. She's up all night for good fun. I'm up all night to get lucky. Oh, funk hair. That's right, Get Lucky is a song by French electronic music penis robots, um, huge sentient vibrators, Daft Punk, featuring American singer and not-so-secret sexy soulful vampire, Pharrell, and Nile Rodgers. The song was written by all four. Daft Punk released this song as the lead single from their fourth and final album, Random Access Memories, on 19th of April, 2013. I can't believe that was already a decade ago. Time is flying by Before its release as a single, Get Lucky was featured in a television advertisement that was broadcast during an episode of Saturday Night Live, where Williams and Rogers announced their involvement. Get Lucky is a house-inspired disco funk and pop track with lyrics that, according to Williams, are about the good fortune of connecting with someone as well as sexual chemistry. It's a philosophical investigation into, like, existentialism and politics. I mean, don't we all want to get lucky? Get Lucky has received much acclaim since its release, with a number of them praising Williams' vocals and Roger's guitar licks. The song reached number one in uh, all countries? A lot, most of them, including Daft Punk's own native France. That's right, these metallic sausages are French. Bonjour, bonjour. They are from Frankreich. Little known fact. They actually wrote the song The Syndicat National Edition Phonographique, otherwise known as SNEP, certified the track as Diamond. That's so French. Yes, we consider this song to be a little diamond. <laughs> Voila. Get Lucky peaked at number two on the US Billboard Hot 100 for five consecutive weeks, giving Daft Punk their very first top 10 hit in the US. In the UK, the song topped the charts for four consecutive weeks and was the second best-selling single of 2013, selling over a million copies. The song won multiple awards, multiple awards, including Record of the Year and Best Pop Duo slash Group Performance at the 56th Annual Grammy Awards. These walking, talking pair of overpriced bicycle helmets perform this song on many television programs and events, including the 56th annual Grammys, in which Stevie Wonder joined in with Rogers and Williams and Daft Punk to perform the song. We actually did a video on Stevie Wonder, and uh, you should check it out. It's pretty cool. I can feel it all over. American singer, producer, mogul, ageless vampire Pharrell Williams was interested in working with Daft Punk. He had first heard of the project from Daft Punk at one of Madonna's parties. As one does. He then offered his services in collaboration. He's quoted saying, if you just want me to play tambourine, like, I'm in. The duo and Williams met in Paris, otherwise known as Paris, where Williams shared some of his own material. Get Lucky was completed in approximately 18 months. Little longer than you thought, huh? Little longer than you thought I was gonna say, right? This seems like it was less luck and a little more like actual hard work and stuff, but. Anyway, prior to Rogers' involvement, the song existed in a very rough form centered around a Wurlitzer electronic piano. After listening to Daft Punk's demo of what would become Get Lucky, Rogers requested that everything be stripped down except for the drums so that he could create his own suitable guitar part. He recalls that he experimented until the duo were pleased. I wonder what that looked like. You think their helmets just flashed on and off like lamps? Maybe they programmed themselves to clap? Or do you think in just like full auto-tune vocoder, they were like, 
Once Rogers finished, Daft Punk had Nathan East re-record the bass to match the guitar part. Rogers further elaborated that everyone just wound up replaying to me. Mixer and engineer Mick Gazowski recalls that the rhythm guitar fit perfectly into the production. He says, I experimented with balancing and positioning and working other things around it. He didn't have to be processed. Niall just sounded great the way that he is. I should imagine so. Niall Rogers is a genius. He sold over 500 million records. The song as it appears on the album includes a synthesizer from Daft Punk, additional keyboards from Chris Caswell, and additional guitar from Paul Jackson Jr. Williams noted that the duo adopted a perfectionist approach when it came time to lay down the vocals. He was asked to perform several takes and multiple instances of specific phrases. He also said that when he got back to the US after recording Get Lucky that he just forgot everything about the composition. He said he attributes that to jet lag, but jokingly wondered if Daft Punk had tampered with his memory. I mean, they are robots after all. They probably decoded all of his memory to try and learn his skincare techniques. I heard that he like, just washes his face. I don't think so. You can't fool me, Feral. Ferret? Ferret? Flare? You're probably wondering by now, what is the moment of this song? Well, this time around, it's a little more difficult for me to pick out one singular aspect, because what's so interesting about this song is the four chords. There are these interesting minor notes that get used that we're going to talk about in a minute. And even though the four chords just repeat for the duration of the song, the different melodies and harmonies separate the individual sections of the song. This allows it to move forward and stay interesting. There's a verse melody, a pre-chorus melody, a chorus melody, there's harmonies in the bridge, and there's all these little add-ons that come in and out. Let me break down what I mean. The song is composed in the key of F sharp minor in the B Dorian mode. It follows the chord progression of B minor 7, D, F sharp minor 7, E. The song runs at common time with a tempo of 116 beats per minute. Saying common time kind of makes it sound like it's the peasant's rhythm, but really it's just a musical term. Oh, they're playing this song in common time. Uh, okay, so to elaborate what's so special about this chord progression, in an article for Slate, Chris Pallett stated that the song can be heard in two different keys. He says most of the time the song sounds like it's in the key of F-sharp Aeolian. Aeolian? Which is a form of F-sharp minor. And it appears as the third chord in the progression under the line, We're up all night for good fun. The first chord of the progression isn't F-sharp minor, but B minor. The song slides back to it each time. And when the chord cycle comes back around to the beginning, for a moment the ear is tricked into thinking that the song is in a different key. He calls it a musical tilt-a-whirl. According to Pallet, in the bridge of the song, Daft Punk overlays the hook of the pre-chorus on top of the hook of the chorus and has them playing simultaneously. British journalist Caitlin Moran speculates that the song's attractiveness is due to its minor chords in addition to its disco type upbeats throughout the song, the former leaving it kind of unresolved. I'm up all night to get lucky. That's sexual politics. Pharrell mentions that the title Get Lucky isn't just about hooking up, but instead about that feeling when you first meet someone and there's that instant connection. Williams' vocals and Daft Punk's vocoder span three octaves together. From D2 to D5, friend and occasional collaborator Chili Gonzalez said that the duo had used this progression before in their song Around the World. He says that the verse, the bridge, and the chorus of Get Lucky are largely defined by the melodic phrasing of the vocal. You see, this is what I find so interesting about this song. These guys used only four chords throughout the entire song, but just doing that, they put all the attention on the rhythm and the instrumentation and the melodic phrasing. And so each section of the song is interesting. It's subtle, it keeps moving forward. So that's the kind of thing that I want to look at today with you. We're going to choose four chords and we're going to make a very short little song, but just to show you that you don't have to stress yourself thinking of new chords to change into for a different section or a B section. You can do that. And sometimes that's great. There's nothing wrong with that. But just to show you, if all you know is four chords, you can still write a cool song. So we're going to change the setup here. I'm going to get my guitar out. We're going to pick four chords at random that and we're going to make sure they go together, but we're going to pick four chords, keep them going, and make a verse melody and a chorus melody. And then you're going to let me know in the comments later if you think it works or not. Uh
All right, guys, so as you can see, we have a bit of a different setup now. I have my Taylor Acoustic with me, my trusty old axe, with my SM7B microphone into my Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 audio interface, and all of this is running into the most updated version of GarageBand for Mac because it's free and it's simple. And what I want to do today, I'm going to pick four chords, and I'm going to write a verse melody, and I'm going to write a chorus melody, and then I'm going to perform them so we have a short little song so that hopefully you at home with minimal equipment can also be inspired to hopefully write your own song, not worrying too much about having a hundred different cool, crazy different chords, but instead we're going to just pick four and play those four all the way through. So I think because my favorite chord is D, because you got to love that D, I'll do D, a, C, and G. Let's see how that sounds. I think I'm gonna stick with the bar chord because it's a bit more rock and roll. I'm gonna stick with common time, the peasant's time. Just a classic 120 beats per minute. It's just the default setting when you open up most project files. So I'm going to go with 120 and D, A, C, and G. And uh, let's try and write a cool little rhythm, why don't we? Yeah, I think that works. I think that works. It's a classic. It's a standard way of moving from those moving those four chords around, and it'll be a simple way to add a verse and a chorus. Um, up next is finding that verse melody. I'm gonna try and write down some lyrics here so that I can sing them once we have that melody down. <laughs> Super straightforward. Let me think of some text for that. Here's what it sounds like when you Here's what it sounds like when you spend a little time making songs up just because it feels good. I think we got a chorus. Is what it sounds like when you spend a little time Making songs up just because it feels good No need to worry what the end result will find Just take your four chords and do it like the pros would Oh, you got it Oh, you got it You got it. All right, the staff of Rolling Stone says that Get Lucky has bright guitar shimmer, robot come-ons, falsetto soul, and a beat that will keep you having good fun until the sun comes up. Do you agree? Is there another great song, another moment, another artist that you think I should cover in this series? Just put it in the comments below. Make sure to hit subscribe and make sweet, sweet love to that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you for watching.